Hey everyone and welcome back. Now in today's video we will be discussing about demon sets. Now before we go ahead and discuss more about demon sets, let's understand a simple use case and let's look into how we can achieve that. So let's say that we have three worker nodes which are available and we want to run a single copy of a pod in every worker node. So this can be better explained with a diagram where you have three worker node over here and you want to run a single copy of a pod, let's assume web server in every node over here. Now, if I have to ask you this question, what would be your outright answer? So the common answer that you will see is create a deployment with a replica set of three, which will go ahead and launch three pods mostly in each and every node. So this is the ideal case, but this can not always be true. It can happen uh, in replica set and deployments that two copy or even three copy of a pod can be launched in a single node. So it all depends upon a lot of factors based on which this scheduling happens. So with the typical use case, we cannot directly make use of replica sets and assume that scheduler will launch a single copy of pod in every node. So in order to achieve that, you can make use of daemon set. Now a daemon set basically ensures that all nodes run a copy of your pod. Now, one of the question that comes is why do you need to run just single copy of a pod? Why can't I run just two copy of a pod in a single node? And what would be the difference if I do not run a pod in a single node here? Now it can make a difference depending upon the use case. So one of the simple use case that I can share here is the antivirus. So let's say that you have three worker nodes and what you want is you have an antivirus pod which regularly scans for all the files within the node to verify if it has some malicious data or not. So in such kind of a use case, you want to run your antivirus pod in each and every node and you don't want to run multiple copies of your antivirus pod. You just want to run a single copy of your antivirus pod in every node. So this is the first use case. Second is whenever a new node comes up, then that new node should also have a single copy of your antivirus pod. So all of these can be achieved with the help of daemon set. So let's do one thing. Let's jump into the practical and understand on how exactly this might look like. Now I have a YAML file for daemon set. Now if you see the API version is apps slash version one the kind is daemon set and you are basically giving a name to your object. Now the spec field is somewhat very similar to what we had seen. So let's look into the template field here first. So within the template, what you are doing is you are launching a container. So let's say that we have discussed that you want to launch a antivirus pod in each and every node within your cluster. So what you can do is you can give a name like KP labs hyphen antivirus and you can give the image of your antivirus pod. So this is the spec section. Now you have one more section here under metadata, which is the labels. So what labels does is that every pod that gets created, that pod will have this label called as KP labs hyphen all hyphen pods. And you also have a selector over here which basically has the same value as that of the label that you are assigning it to the container. Now we have already discussed about the labels and selectors. So by now I am sure that you already know what these mean. So let's do one thing. Let's uh, jump into the terminal. Now within here, if I quickly do a cube CTL get nodes, you will see that I have two worker nodes which are currently available. So now let's go ahead and do a kubectl apply on the daemon set. So it says that your daemon set has been created. Now if you want to do a kubectl get pods, you see exactly two pods were launched. Now if you want to see where each of these pods were launched, you can even do a kubectl get pods followed by o wide. 
So now within the node section, it will tell you that the first pod was launched in a node which has a label of KP Labs K8S secondary RIAM. So this is the second node over here. And you have one more pod which was assigned to a node with RT90. And this is the node which you can see over here. So your daemon set launched exactly one pod in each node. So you can better understand this with an antivirus example that we were discussing that a daemon set can launch a antivirus pod in node one and then it can also launch in node two. So this is the first use case. Now the second thing that we were discussing that any time a new worker node is created, then your antivirus spot should also be created in that worker node because it might happen that the worker node can be infected. So you want antivirus spot in the all the worker nodes within your cluster. So let's try it out as well. So within my digital ocean, I have a Kubernetes cluster and within the cluster, you will see that there are two nodes which are available. So let's go ahead and add a new pool. Let's call it as KP labs hyphen daemon sets and we'll launch one more node. All right, let's go ahead and add that node within our cluster. So this will go ahead and launch one more worker node and this worker node will be connected with our Kubernetes cluster. So that basically means that we'll have a total of three worker nodes. All right. So on a refresh, you see that there is one more worker node, which is created. Now from the CLI, if you quickly do a kubectl get nodes, you will see that now we have three worker nodes, which are available and corresponding to that. If you do a kubectl get pods, you will see that in total now you have three pods which are currently running and on hyphen O of Y, you will see that the new pod was also created in a newly launched worker node called as KP Labs hyphen daemon sets. So anytime a new worker node gets created, your daemon set will go ahead and make sure that a pod is created in that specific worker node. Now, if you quickly want to look into the daemon set object, so you can do a kubectl get daemon set and here it will give you the name of daemon set. It will also show you the desired count, which is equivalent to the number of worker nodes typically and also the current count. Now, if you do a kubectl describe daemon set followed by KP labs hyphen daemon set. So within here, you will be able to see on what exactly the image is for the pods, which will be running in all the worker nodes. So you can see the details related to image and you can also look into the logs because many a times there can be an error. So you can go ahead and look into your event logs to figure out more details about it. So that's the high level overview about a demon set. I hope this video has been informative for you and I look forward to see you in the next video.